Welcome back everyone and today we are approaching Vault 15, ready to get down there, find the water chip and save our vault and presumably end the game. Short game. <laughs> so here we go heading down the ladder and again we find ourselves in a cave. The whole door has been blown off the vault. Got some rats to deal with first. And we're making our way inside the vault now. Looks like it's full of mole rats. Also normal rats too. So we're going to take these guys out ASAP. We notice a locker on the east wall, just like in our own vault. But I obviously just seemingly ignore it and walk straight past it to take on the mole rat here. And these are big guys, these. And here we see Ian with his, as normal, firing shots straight into us instead of whatever enemy we're facing, which is going to be a bit of a problem later on, as we'll see. So here we go, taking out the rats, going back to that locker, I know we have some flares, take them for reasons unknown, didn't use a single flare, don't actually know what the flares are even for to be honest, is there a flare gun in the game? Can we throw them? Do not know. So we take out the rest of the rats here as we go through. And let's use our rope to put into the elevator shaft or the lift shaft as we would call it. And let's get down there into the next level. So we see another level here, crawling with rats, mole rats, yet again. So it's time to take these out. That sound of that mole rat exploding is <laughs> <it's> pretty nasty. <laughs> but one by one, we take the rats out. And we find ourselves another locker in this room and this locker is going to be a lot more useful than the previous one that we found because we get ourselves another rope but this leather armour which once I mess about with the inventory system as always we'll see how good that looks <laughs> on the Talia We move out, take the rest of the rats out, and take ourselves into another elevator shaft to go deeper into the vault's levels. And as we take out yet more mole rats, yet more normal rats, we can see that the whole area here has been subject to a cave-in. But in this locker we've got some grenades and some dynamite. I've got next to no explosive skill in my character, so these are probably absolutely useless. But take them anyway, because you never know what you might need it for. We explore the next locker. And we find ourselves submachine gun and some more ammo. So we are getting geared now. We've got the leather arm, we've got the submachine gun. But we are about to have a major argument with Ian. As I'm double checking, treble checking, quadruple checking, thinking that my targeting is on for the rat. It isn't. I shoot, <laughs> thinking I'm shooting the rat. And obviously shoot Ian, who is pretty pissed at this point. And we start trading fire. I'm down to 6 health points at this time, then the rat joins in and there's no way of making up with Ian so I'm just having to go shot for shot but he nicks one of my stim packs and then shoots me in the face 
Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind. Your vault will now surely die, as you have. Luckily, he and I have made up. And this wall here looks like surely it needs some dynamite in it. So, lacking all of the explosive skill that is required, I set a 30 second timer. And then I'm absolutely unable to drop this dynamite. <laughs> and I'm unable to run away from it because Ian is so close to me. So I'm stuck with 30 seconds and the inevitable happens. <laughs> The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. Back again to give it another try. This time asking Ian to back off, keep his distance. Because it, it surely looks like there's something that needs to happen to this wall. Set my timer yet again, 30 seconds, here we go. And again, can't drop it. I'm not sure what to do at this point, other than just to run away. <laughs> Mistakenly thinking, if I get to another area, perhaps a loading screen will end the timer, end the countdown, and I'll be able to get out here with my life. So, desperately trying to get onto this rope, we climb back up to the previous level, and let's just keep running. But obviously, you can only run for so long. And we blow ourselves up again. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. It feels like the game is just mocking me at this point. So we give up on the dynamite scheme, telling him to keep a moderate distance, and we realise that this whole area is a dud. There is no water chip for us here. We best get out of here with our lives, with our dynamite still. We speak to Ian outside. Where's the directions for the hub and for Junktown? Ian tells us, and we're going to get back into the world map. We need to head over when we can. We're going to move on over to Junktown. We start the long journey. I do love this map system, I've got to say, I love this little kind of, it's not exactly a fast travel system, is it? But I love it. And here we go. But we have a random encounter. Is it the alien blaster? No, it's just a rad scorpion. And this gives me a perfect chance to try out when I can find it, my new submachine gun. Finally managed to get the target in right this time. We go for the brain. Barely scratches it. And lets Ian finish the job for us. And away we go. Back to Junktown. We're heading there pretty sharpish this time. And Junktown is where you will find us in the next episode. So hope you all enjoyed this one. Fairly brief today. But Vault 15 is a brief one. But join us for the next one in Junktown. See you all then.